OK, so this is pretty straightforward. And um, what we're going to do, I already have the audio files built up. So let's okay. go ahead and stop this project. And we'll flip back over. And we're going to add a couple of new resources into the project. OK. OK, so I'm going to grab these off my desktop. We built So these. we'll have a calf sound. Exactly. So we're going to have the glass breaking sound. OK. Right? And then we'll have our covered button without the glass broken, okay. and then the broken covered button. Okay. Um, and we'll go ahead and add all those. Okay. Okay. And again, copying everything. Right. Else that we you created these do. the same way, just with a little bit of Photoshop for exactly. the glass, yep. a little bit of GarageBand for the break. Yep. Exactly. Okay. You can look at the the styling one for how we created the okay. the audio and the, or the um, the button images. Okay. Okay. And then just like we talked about there, we're going to do some swap this out. Um, so we're going to pick our self destruct button, and we're going to swap out the image with. Uh, Instead of using the warning button, right. um, we're going to have to start with a covered warning okay. button. Yep. So covered destruct button. Okay. Okay. I'm going to resize this a little bit just to make it, uh, since our image is a little bit oh, I see. skewed a little bit here. Right? Okay. So I'm going to put that and make it a little bit okay. a little bigger. Okay. okay. Um, I'm also going to, this is kind of a trial and error thing. I'm, I'm going to actually darken this text just a touch um, because we want it to look like, again, if you were doing this, uh, you know, if, if we had a little more time, we would be layering some of these things mm -hmm. so we get the right mm -hmm. text effects. Mm -hmm. I'm going to fake it by kind of just okay. darkening that text to make it look like it's a okay. little further down. In okay. There. Okay. Um, so it's underneath the glass. We have a little bit of shading on the glass there. Um, and then let's go ahead and wire up the self destruct button. Okay. And I don't remember if we have that one wired or not. No, I don't think we ever nope. created an outlet. We never for that. did that. Okay. So an action, I guess. So let's make sure we actually have a reference to the self destruct button. Um, so we don't even have either. that, no, right? Okay. So let's go ahead and we'll add that in. US uh, UI button uh, self destruct. Right. Button. Sort of 101. Yep. And we'll come down and we'll add our property for that. Right. That property. Oops. Not You're atomic, just so blazing retain. fast, Xcode can't keep up with you. <laughs> uh, UI button. Too much caffeine is what it might be. Self destruct. <laughs> the breakfast okay. of champions. Um, so we'll go ahead and put this self-destruct button in there. We'll flip over again, Option Command up, mm -hmm. and we'll go ahead and synthesize that. Right. Self-destruct. Right. Button, and then we'll go ahead down uh, to the bottom of the file and we'll deallocate. Okay. So something we missed to do when we set up the audio earlier is we're not cleaning up our audio references. Oh, that's uh, we right. We should have that in here that's as well. Right. So let's not forget about our self-destruct button. Damn. I know. I know. And. Uh, Release. See, we need to be actually. I don't know if we could have caught this one in a unit test, so we had memory leaks and things were crashing. Okay. But, um, you okay. probably could have seen this. Uh, anyway, I'm not sure. We'd have to test that. So, self destruct button. All right, we're just going to clean that up. Um, so, let's go ahead and add, let's free, oops, let's free up our audio right, references. Right, okay. right. Um, so, is that the same kind of deal? You just have to do a release and. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do basically get rid of the audio services dispose system sound I'll ID. Make a, a, a call. Right. And we're going to get rid of our button click sound. sound right? right. So that's going to free up that whole data structure that okay. we built with the actual. Uh, and then we thing. also have the pointer into the the URL. The, the URL. Thing. Right. And so basically, when you do this, depends on. There we go. That'll clean up our sound reference. And um, when you do this, depends on what you're doing with your sound. If you're only going to play it once, dump it. Okay. And, and you're you know you're out. Um, because we might have the buttons exactly. hit multiple times. Right. We at don't want to have the application. to them. Uh, right. So we'll clean them up okay. when our view controller is being cleaned up. Okay. Right. And there's a balance here. Um, obviously, if you have tons of sounds and you may be using, you may have to shuffle around. You I may see. Have to keep track I of see. which ones you have. So maybe views switch out and. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. So now we've cleaned up our audio and um, we've done our self-destruct okay. button. Um,